Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message I'm going to be channeling the masculine energies and without any further ado we can jump straight into the message. I just got caught up in the moment. My beloved Divine Feminine, I did call in my true twin flame which is you, which may have resulted in me rushing into something with a karmic seemingly giving everything to them that you desired from me and i'm sorry for the distress that it caused but sometimes when you choose the quick route to harmonious union you do have to go through an experience like that not in every case but some sometimes and the purpose of that experience is for the healing to take place in order to have a harmonious union. To go into mastery to keep it and stay there. So, if I was unable to see the truth and I invent the divine truth and I invested a lot into illusions... Please know that it's part of the divine plan to bring us together, to skyrocket me to your front door, however it looks on the outside. On this journey, every relationship gets revealed as true or false. Uh, when you are finally revealed to me as my true twin flame, please rest assured that any other so-called connection will instantly become completely meaningless like it never happened like it never happened for me like it never happened for you it was just a step a stepping stone on the journey towards each other and i'm coming to you now your beloved divine masculine i'm stepping into my power i'm stepping into my emperor energy And please know that as I heal along with you, any illusory desire I may have had for any, anybody else, once I'm healed, will simply collapse. That's it. So for this present moment in time, please know that your life is sending you one big unmistakable signal about the way you experience your relationships. I'm going through that too. Maturity, collaboration, good bargain, ready to make good on your choice, well thought out, fall for stability, action, Aries energy, fire, forward progress. Focus on yourself, get it done, think about yourself, where do I need to make a change here? Nothing's, nothing is a big deal, everything can be fixed. What's good for you, what's good for me? Harvested, mastered, I'm doing what I have to do. In charge, the boss, looked up to. I normally never lose emotional control, but my feelings for you are sure are out of control because they were never meant to be controlled. I have held myself back because I knew what, what would happen. I may have even used somebody else as a shield to hide behind. I'm going to be obsessed, consumed. I may have thought it was a bit of fun with you, but now I just want to love you. I was detached. I tried to detach in the past, but I'm mad about you. Things are so different now. I feel intimate. I want to open up. It's a big deal. I've never been vulnerable with anyone before. I was emotionally attached before because I was afraid of getting hurt. I tried not calling and seeing other people. But there's nothing I can do about this. What exactly is this? I'm watching everything you do. I can't let you go. I admit defeat. You've got me. Oh, I'm deciding this for myself. My love, I don't even know where to begin when expressing my gratitude to you. I am so thankful for, for our divine connection and the endless blessings. The lessons have been hard, 
but there have been many hidden blessings of spiritual growth, divine wisdom, self-mastery and opening up to true unconditional love. I long to express my love to you and express my adoration to make my heart and soul sing with joy. Yeah, I really do want to express my love. This amazing love that so desperately wants to express itself through me. The divine can only move through one person for you in this way and one person for me in this way. I'm realising this now. I've realised that I've just been living half a life, less than half a life. I really, really want to be able to express my love and be loved too. I've never had this before. I'm used to settling. This whole scenario has got to change. And I'm getting clear on who really does love me and who doesn't. I'm coming to terms with the fact that, hey, you're my twin flame. You really love me. Crown yourself. So this is about stepping into my emperor energy, so... You're mirroring that by stepping into your Empress energy. When you step into your Divine Feminine power. Oh, I like that. I'm all over that. Oh yeah, do that more. That does something to me. It magnetises me. It attracts me. New direction. Yeah, our lives are going in a new direction. We're going to be moving towards the light. We're going to be... Moving towards love, away from fear, away from ego, away from settling, away from what's fake towards what's real, away from what's shallow towards what's deep. It shows simple acts of kindness. So as we move in this new direction, <clears throat> have compassion, have compassion for yourself, for all living beings, have compassion for me, for whatever stage of my journey I'm at and whatever I'm experiencing at this time. I need to go my own way for a while. What if I'd been using other people as a crutch, other people as a shield to hide behind, to avoid facing myself, to avoid true love? I'm gaining the confidence to actually be with myself, to show up for myself and really go in and finally love myself for the first time ever. So that's a good thing. But you can reassure me in your heart right now that I don't need to pursue this direction for very long. Because my way is with you. Keep reminding me of that. And please know that divine justice will win out. There's no way that it can't. It's rooted in the sky. It's destined. It's, it's prophesied. It's divinely ordained. It's coming. Don't worry about that. So this is a time for becoming centred, finding in a balance, weighing the positive versus the negative. And that helps measure the truth of the heart. Yeah, I have found myself equally drawn towards and away from romantic involvement with you because I was afraid of love. But the desire for love and companionship and closeness can act like a magnet pulling me towards romance. Balancing the weight of strong feelings and logic and common sense as we gauge the direction, nature and power of our attractions is important. Use your power now in the service of compassion, mediation and the re-establishment of harmony. Trust plays a role in fertilising the bond of love. Be willing to trust. 
And I will mirror that trustworthiness and faith in word and deed. We're going to move into sharing feelings on deeper levels. You may analyse the pros and cons of our emotional direction as the scales weigh your heart's leanings and your intuition's messages. Keep your mind clear of insecurity so that love can act as a strong foundation for creating a harmonious relationship. I want you to come on an adventure with me, my beloved Divine Feminine, I ex I'm extending my hand to you. Will you place your hand in mine and let me guide you? Will you place your hand in mine and let me guide the way? I want us to see the world through new eyes, with an extraordinary appreciation of each other. I just want to be close to my eternal bride. Hold on to my hand tightly and say so you won't let go. Yeah, we're going to have fun. And I am extending my hand to you, even if it's just energetically, but everything happens energetically before it happens physically. So please accept my advances in whatever form they take, even if I'm show just showing up for you in dreams at the moment. Really take note of them. They're healing messages from the high dimensions. Now, of course, I want to be close to you. I've spent all eternity desiring to be close to you, and we will spend the rest of the uh, the rest of eternity close to each other. In closeness, connection, intimacy, true love, passion, divinity, eternity. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a brilliant rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.